Howdy Tinker Nerds! My next Tinkernut tutorial is going to be about how to control objects with a smartphone and an Arduino. So for this video I wanted to give you all a basic run through of what it's going to take to make that work. For the project I'm about to show you, the parts you're going to need are obviously a smartphone, an Arduino, an Arduino Bluetooth module, and an LED. The goal of this will be to use a smartphone to light up the LED. Okay, let's first take a look at this little Bluetooth module. As you can see here, it has four connectors. VCC, which is its power, GND, the ground, RX, the receiver, and TX, the transmitter. Connecting it to the Arduino is pretty simple. You want the VCC to go to the 5 volt port, first making sure that your Bluetooth module supports 5 volts. The ground will then go to ground, the receiver should go to the Arduino transmitter port, and the transmitter should connect to the receiver port. I know it's counterintuitive, but you don't want to match TX with TX and RX with RX, because you'll have receivers with nothing to transmit and transmitters with nothing to receive. All right, now let's put a little LED in ports G and D and 13 like this. Then let's jump over to the code, and using the Arduino software, which you can download here, let's add this code to it. Create a variable for the LED pin and set it to port 13. Then make an onState variable and set it to 0. Lastly, make an onFlag variable and set it to 0 as well. Now let's make a setup function, setting the pin mode to read output only, and setting the write mode to low. Now let's set the serial baud rate to 9600, which is the default baud rate for this Bluetooth module. Next, let's create a looping function for turning the LED on and off. Let's make an if statement to read our serial data and set it to the state variable, and then set the flag to zero at the beginning of the loop. Now we can say if the statement we set is zero, then we can use the digital write method to turn the LED off. Then we can look at the flag value, and if it's zero, then we can print the LED state to the console and then set the flag to one. After that, we can do a similar statement, but check to see if the state is equal to one. And if it is, turn the LED on and print its state to the console. All right, now save it, verify it, and before uploading it, make sure under tools that your board is the, set to the correct version of the Arduino that you have and that the correct serial port is also selected. Okay, then click Upload. If you get this error message, then don't worry. Apparently this is common with Bluetooth devices. Just disconnect the RX and TX cables and upload the program again. And this time when it succeeds, go ahead and plug them back in. The next step would generally be to write an Android program to interface with the Bluetooth module, which would be a whole nother tutorial. But there's already a great program called ArduDroid on the Android market that will do exactly what we want. Alright, after you have it downloaded, making sure Bluetooth is on, open up the ArduDroid app and from the menu select Connect Me to a Bluetooth Device. If it successfully connects, then the hard part is done. You can now select port 13 at the top and send it either a 1 or a 0 to turn the LED on or off. All right, that should give you a good starting point for the basics of using Arduino and Bluetooth. Now you're ready to watch the more advanced tutorial on my main Tinkernut channel. All right, I will see you guys next time.